This content has been deemed inappropriate for children under 13. Viewer discretion is advised. This is for adults only. Adult collectibles. What's up guys, it's Zach Jack Dan back with another Every Marvel Legends video. This time we're talking about The Punisher, Frank Castle. So back in the Toybiz days, we did get a Punisher come out with uh, Series 4. This one had a Beast and a Goliath and Elektra and Gambit. At this base where he's like standing on the side of a building. Same Punisher was pretty much released in the Urban Legends box set. This time he had a trench coat and a bazooka. Came with a white Elektra this time, Spider-Man and Daredevil. Got the Thomas Jane version of the Punisher in Series 6 of Toy Biz. And then also in Toy Biz, the face-off wave, we've got two more Punishers. This one came with Jigsaw wearing a kind of a replica Punisher costume. Face was a little different on these two. One of them kind of had a teeth, one of them had a grimace, and this one had a jigsaw with a white suit on. So then in the Hasbro days, we had the Nemesis or uh, Holocaust build figure wave and game with two different versions of Punisher, a black costume, and then also one with a camo costume and his face painted. Not a bad looking figure. In the Epic Heroes wave, we had the trench coat Punisher. They're supposed to give us that blade as well, but that never got released. This did not have a build a figure piece, just had that stand. And then there was another version that came out a lot later, very rare, with the red Thunderbolts looking um, skull and crossbones on his chest, or skull on his chest. Walgreens gave us another Punisher with the bandana around his head. And then we got another one um, for the Netflix series with John Berthall, whatever his name is. This was in the Man Thing Build a Figure Wave. Vintage Wave gave us a pretty much a re release of that same Walgreens version. This time he had a red bandana around his head. And then the Marvel Unlimited gave us the Venom Punisher. So there's a couple of fan exclusives for 2019. We have the Camo Punisher. I love that uh, skull face that he has there. And we also had the War Machine Punisher. This one kind of was thrown on us out of nowhere. Next, we have the Riders. Cosmic Ghost Rider, which of course is Frank Castle in the future. Here's the back of the box and the loose figure itself. Next we have a Punisher with a motorcycle for the Riders Wave. Would have rather been a Punisher van, but maybe one day. So here he is on the stand. We've got a machete and a bat and another head sculpt. This one's beat up. So back in the Toy Biz days, we had the Spider-Man Classics wave. This was a two-pack with Spidey and Punisher. So here's all the Punishers that we've seen in six-inch form, loose. So you can kind of compare them all, see what you have. And here they all are in package. Of course, we are missing the Cosmic, because I don't see, I don't have a package picture of him. I'll update that later whenever we get that. So, guys, now that they have provided us with the War Machine Punisher, uh, this is my next list for most wanted. We got Franken Castle. Uh, when Frank died and was rebuilt by the monsters, you got Franken Castle. You got Thanos Punisher, and you also got the Punisher van. I'd love to see some of these come to light in Marvel Legends form. So guys, let me know what Punisher you're looking forward to in the future. Let me know which Punishers you have, which ones you desire. Hit a thumbs up.
hit that notification bell, subscribe to my channel, guys, and I will talk to you guys later. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.